broadcast of the Marian walk of the fourth Ghana version of the world youth day and the work just started from the University of Ghana and and we are on our way to Medina if you are watching live on Facebook or on YouTube I want to sincerely welcome you to Radio Angelos. This is the fourth Ghana version of the World GD celebrations taking place in the Archdiocese of Accra. And if you are watching us, you can see them live streaming on YouTube and, and on Facebook. The theme for this year's celebration is do not be afraid Mary for you have found favor with God and this is taken from Luke chapter 1 verse 30 thousand I can count I can't actually count but I can estimate thousands thousands of young people from across the country gathered here in the Archdiocese of Accra for the World Youth Day celebrations here at the University of Ghana. Currently, we are on our way to Medina, and what is happening now is the Marian Walk. Uh, you can see the beautiful palanquin uh, being carried by the young men, and it's followed by enthusiastic young people who are reciting the rosary and also um, singing praises to God. And it's all about the fourth World Youth Day celebrations here. If you're listening, let us know how you are taking speed. If you're watching, get in touch with us on Facebook. We are on as Radio Angelos. And on WhatsApp, 055 I am Ernest Sanudovlo. And I'll be doing this uh, assisted technically by... This is Jean Baptiste and Serge who are doing the technical um, production solid team. We also have Sister Alberta Rabbles, Mami Ifua Australia, Catherine Derry, Peter, and Blandine, as well as Leah, all assisting in the production of what you are watching live from the capital of Ghana, Accra.
makes her subjects with the light of God's own grace. She is mighty to deliver, born of trust, a loving me. When the tempest rages round me, she will calm the troubled sea. Of course, we're still live here on Radio Angelus and also live on Facebook and on YouTube. On Facebook, it's Accra Catholic Archdiocese. Is that it? Yes, Accra Catholic Archdiocese. And on YouTube, we are also live on TV, Accra Catholic, and on TV. We are live on our website, TV Zakra Catholic dot onk and on Radio Hello. Angelus dot Accra Catholic dot Hello. 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 Yes, we are. Hello. Is it coming? Uh, should be. Jesus, they make me fine. I defy, I defy, I defy. I defy, I defy, fine, fine. I just thank tell them, say, Jesus, they make me fine. I defy, I defy, fine, fine. I just thank tell them, say, Jesus, they make me fine. Some people ask me, say, waiting, they make me fine. I just enter them, say, Jesus. Some people ask me, say, Waiting, they make me fine.
it's 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 a very 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 solemn walk from the University of Ghana campus through to Medina and it's quite interesting um, we are almost at the main gate of the University of Ghana but I can see people still at Okolo and so you can imagine the number of young people who have come out in their numbers for this walk it's the fourth version of the Ghana World Youth Day celebrations taking place at the University of Ghana and what you can hear in the background is actually people who are chanting uh, Marian um, appellations in the crowd it's it's all solemn it's it's all solemn here it's, it's okay. unfortunate i i do not have any of my colleagues with me here in the ob um ob i would have engaged them but then if you're watching i i hope that you are seeing for yourself the beauty of the walk it's all for our mother Mary.
version of the World Youth Day celebrations in Ghana. I am Ernest Senanuvlo and if you are watching this live stream, it's a pleasure to come away once again with live stream of this sort and you can see i can see from behind me thousands of young people gathered here to watch this i'm um, to join in this walk for our mother mary and i have with me my colleague um, michael Asba, and we are going to have some interactions michael do you, you are a part of the organizing people as far as this world you did celebration because what what are your impressions so, uh, first of all, we thank God for the opportunity to celebrate our youthfulness. Uh, we have gathered here all over from Ghana. They are all over from Ghana celebrating the world youth day. Uh, we started somewhere last week, Wednesday, and so far so good. We have had very beautiful moments. We've had a beautiful encounter with the Lord in the Eucharistic celebration and so many other events that we cannot talk about. So, this is how far we have come as of today. It's, it, looking at the numbers, it's quite impressive. I see behind me, people are still at Okunglo working towards Madina. We, we are almost halfway through the journey, and it looks like people are not even out of campus yet. I mean, the numbers, what, what went into the preparations for, for the people to come here? Sorry, the uh, Of course, right? of course you, of you, you can see we have to be... Um, actually meandering in between cars and all that so that we don't get ourselves killed before we, we get to destinations but as i was telling you we're still alive and you can see what is happening here and we are directly in front of the main gate of the university of ghana and what is happening currently is the marian walk of the fourth version of the ghana world day celebrations hosted by the catholic arch Dallas of Accra. It's been done at the University of Ghana. So the celebration began with what we call the Mission Week. Yeah, tell tell us about that. So the Mission Week basically simply means that the pilgrims, uh, what do you will call participants, we call the pilgrims because we are here to have a pilgrimage and this is one of them we are doing. So pilgrims are scattered across the, the 19 dioceses and then one vicariate, which is Uncle Chrome. Yeah, so, so today, Uncle 20 of them. And then... Tachimari also, Obwase, Damongo, Ketakachi, Navongo, Bogtanga, Kuforidia, Accra the whole, Kumasi, Kekos, Sekendi, Tkrade, all of them have gathered here for us to celebrate the World Youth Day. And then when they came, we invited among the six degrees, namely Madina, Kaneshi, Osu, Maprobi, and Temabato. In this mission day, some of them lived with families. Some of the pilgrims live with families. Some and of the did Catholics. Did they happen across or they didn't? No, know we couldn't have. because of a crisis situation. A few of them were not able to live with families because a parent who wants to go to the office at a point in time, moving here and there, was not able to get them. So that's one of the things we, we could not do. So it's quite unfortunate. But we hosted those in Tema at the Datu School Complex. Okay. And these are whole people from whole diocese. And then two other dioceses were hosted in the whole, uh, how do you call it, Dallas complex. Uh, Koforidia, Kebos, and other people were at Achimota School. And then um, the Kaneshi hosted Damongo, and then the other people. So this is how far we have come. So it's, it's, it's quite an interesting journey. I mean, we are just uh, at the first entrance of the University of Ghana uh, campus, and we've not gotten anywhere yet. So, we are praying gradually we are going so that's how far we have come yes and so you saw live here radio angelos and we are live on youtube we are also live on facebook what you are watching currently is the marian walk taking place and it is the fourth ghana version of the world day celebrations take place here in the national capital the archdiocese of accra i have with me one of the youth chaplains of the archdiocese of accra and the person of reverend father alphonse Buluru. father you most welcome Thank you. Father, we started this event, the World Youth Day proper, on Wednesday. And here we are today, Saturday, with the Marian Walk. What is the significance of this particular event? You know, the theme for this uh, World Youth Day celebration is that do not be afraid, for you have found favor with God. And these words were the words of the angel Gabriel to our mother Mary. And so working with our mother Mary, the youth are saying that, Yes, they have also found favor with, with God and are not afraid. 
And so with Mother Mary praying with us, praying for the world, praying for our various um, dioceses, archdiocese, we are not afraid. So I think this Marian work is to let everybody know that with our Mother Mary, we are not afraid. And so Father, we, we are basically working and people are singing and chanting uh, songs, Marian songs and all that. I mean, how does this impact the youth? How, how does this transform us into becoming better Catholics? Yeah, so it, it is also helping us to know that, yes, we, we have to be uh, prayerful people like our mother Mary, or if you like, uh, we have to have faith in our mother Mary. So with this work, it is to help our youth know that they have to work with our mother Mary in prayer. And that will kind of uh, strengthen them also in faith. When things are not going well, they should know that, yes, they have a mother who prays with them and prays for them. So with this work, I'm sure our Catholics know that we have a mother who always prays with us and who intercedes for us to her son. And so it will, it will also help them know how to pray in times of challenges, in times of uh, worries and anxieties. For that we are live across the world yeah. and there are many people out there who have the, the impression that Catholics actually worship Mary. And here again they are seeing life across the world. Mary being carried in a palanquin, they will say this is an idol worship. Yeah. For, for such people watching, what do you have to tell them? Yes, I, I must say that uh, we are not worshipping Mary. We are praying with our mother Mary. Or if you like, we are giving respect to our mother Mary because she gave us our Savior, our Lord Jesus Christ. Our God, so to speak. Well, Jesus Christ, as far as the Trinity is concerned, he is the second person of the Holy Trinity and he is God. And so we are praying with his mother and his mother is with us here singing along with us yes we are singing praise to our mother mary not to say that we are worshiping uh, our mother mary when you talk of true worship it has to do with if you like uh, offering sacrifices and for us catholics the greatest sacrifice we offer is a mass which we offer to our lord jesus christ or to our god what we are doing now is not holy mass or if not it's not a sacrifice that we are offering to Ma mother mary we are singing with our mother mary we sing song to even uh, our mothers to our fathers to celebrate them. the no, same no, way mothers day and all that. yes mothers day. we sing to praise them and we honor those who have uh, if you like uh, done great things for us and exactly what we are doing and so we are not worshiping mary as others may think but we are honoring our mother and we are asking her to join us in our prayers and for for me uh, people should not have a problem when we we kind of uh, ask our mother mary to pray for us as i said she's a mother of our god our lord jesus christ and he, she has a special role to play as far as we are concerned so uh, in, on the, at the foot of the cross our lord jesus christ our lord jesus christ says that he has uh, john behold your mother and she's our mother and we are joining with her so we are not praying uh, we are not uh, uh, worshiping her so to speak huh? father t tell us what what is the place of mother mary in catholicism catholics okay anna respect so much the figure of mary. mary why is it so now in the church we have uh, two if uh, three uh, kinds of uh, if you like a uh, reverence that we give to to our holy men and women so now we have what you call we have what called the latria if you like what we may term uh, absolute worship uh, that which the others will understand to worship that we call a tria and we give the, to only the trinity god the father god the son and god the holy spirit and you know each of the trinity we can worship them and adore them with them the same kind of uh, if you like a uh, worship now, our mother mary belongs to the, the second level which you call hyperdulia hyperdulia it means that our, our mother mary is higher than than our our saints like uh, you talk of uh, Saint Augustine, uh, Saint Aloysius Gonzaga, Saint Don Bosco, Saint Maria Gretti. These are patron saints for you that I'm mentioning. So our Mother Mary is above the saints. And so the the honor and respect we give to our Mother Mary is hyper dulia. And then the saints we give them dulia. So we have these three levels in the Catholic Church. So if you are Catholic Church, you get a distinction. We only worship the Trinity: God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Our mother Mary, we give her a reverence that is higher than that of the saints. 
And so you notice that in a Catholic church, many of the things that we do with our Mother Mary is, is kind of uh, deeper than that of, of the saints. Uh -huh. So that is our Mother Mary's uh, position in the church. So he is at the level of the hyper dulia. The dulia is for the saints. But for God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, we have what you call the lat latria. If you like uh, the, uh, the, the worship, so to speak, that uh, the others would kind of uh, understand. We give worship to, to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Right. Yeah. Father, this, this is a gathering of young people. And, and as you can see, we happen to find ourselves in, in a country where the young people are, let me say, struggling in terms of job acquisition and all that. What is the church doing in this regard in helping young people to, to get economically empowered? So, as, as you know, the church has the mission of uh, evangelizing. Okay. Now, what a church can do is, first of all, to uh, talk to those who are in charge of, I mean, our go governance system, the politicians. And you know that our church leaders have been very uh, vocal and powerful in talking about economic issues. So that those who are in positions will uh, be responsible and then do things right so that the young ones will kind of uh, get employment, as, as you said. Now, besides, the church herself has kind of uh, some institutions which i must say employ some of our people you know we have schools we have hospitals and all some other institutions that you can talk of and and these things also help to employ our youth uh -huh. so the church is playing a major role when it comes to employing our youth and so we can we, we, we still pray that we can do more uh -huh. so i think the church is doing a lot when it comes to yeah okay father thank you so much i want to thank you for your time with yeah, us in, yeah. we will come back to you sure, uh, sure. For, for more of our conversation sure. but for now we want to leave you okay, and then you invite one of our friends to, to join us and so what you are watching is the live streaming of the fourth ghana version of the world g day celebrations taking place in the archdiocese of accra and what you are actually viewing it's the Marian Walk, which started from the University of Ghana, and we are heading towards Medina. You just had Father Alphonse Boloro, who is a youth chaplain of the Catholic Archives of Accra. And I'm going to talk to one participant of this particular World Youth Day celebration in the Archdiocese. Good afternoon. What's your name? Marian. Marian. Which diocese do you belong to? Accra. Accra Archdiocese. Which parish? And Sylvanus. Pokwase. Yes. Tell me, why are you part of this particular celebration? Why did you decide to come here? Like, it didn't appear to me to come here. I came here for a visit. And then I don't know what happened to me. And, and then you came to visit someone in yes, Ajidaz Wakra? Yes, I came to visit at, the, like, at Legon. Oh, okay. And then I don't know what happened. Something told me to stay here and worship God. And it has been a wonderful time. Does it mean that you didn't know that the Woody Day celebrations was taking place? Yes. You didn't know about it? I didn't know. But you were going to church every Sunday at your parish? Yes. And you didn't hear about it? Mm -hmm. Alright, so tell me, how, how, what, what, what is your experience? What or how has it been for you being a part of these particular celebrations? What can you tell those watching you live from across the world? It has been wonderful. If you are not here, you have missed a lot. You have missed things that, like, things that I can't even explain. There have been a lot of educative messages and the rest. Like, if you are not here, you have missed a lot. That's all I can say. Well, never mind. It's, it's part of the job. You can see I'm working on the scorching sun and I need to get some water. But if you're watching us, we're still live at the, the main road leading Okpongo to Medina. And what you are watching is the live streaming of the fourth Ghana version of the World Youth Day celebrations. This is the Marian Walk. I'm going to take a sip. But then when I come back, I'll be talking to some more people. Thank you so much, and we will be back shortly. No